Hi, this is Theo here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about functional programming in JavaScript. I'm going to go over three main methods, and those methods are going to be um, map. Yeah, let's just do it right here, I guess. Um, map, filter, um, for each, and reduce. We'll go over. We'll go over four. Okay. Basically, why you would do this is because it saves time, um, and it's as it's you know sort of noted functional. It makes sense. Like the map function will iterate over an array and change your array based on the condition that you put in. Filter is used obviously more for filtering out for each, similar to map, and reduce is used more for math and you know sort of acting as instead of having to you know declare some variable it does it for you so let's just talk about each of these um, so let's just create an array for our map and we're going to say names say Theo, Chef, Robert and um, Matt so we have our array of names um, and what do we want to do to each of these names well um, Let's just do something very, very simple. Let's just um, let's just do hmm, let's do uh, hmm, let's do uh, let's just change the whole name to uppercase. It's kind of dumb, I guess, but um, so our changed names equals names dot map okay what that does calls this function map and it, that in itself takes in a function so you're using it on this array so we're looking at each index what we want to do is we want to return the index dot to upper case so now if that works we log out change names. Let's go into here, open a browser, and inspect. Let's see what we get. We get an array of four, and they're all in uppercase. Good. And if we log out names, right? If we log out change names, so changed names, and you can see, there you go. It worked. That's what map does. Um, Okay, let's look at let's look at filter. So now we have an array of numbers. You know, maybe 10, 15, 20, 100, and negative 5, negative 20. Very simple again. We just want to get rid of the negatives, no negs. Yeah, you can use a for loop, but I'm trying to show functional programming. So numbers dot filter. Again, just taking a function, taking an index. And we just want to return uh, if the index is greater than zero. So now, if we log no negs, we should just get these 10, 15, 20, 100, but we shouldn't get negative 5 and negative 20. So let's see what we get 10, 15, 20. But if we just log numbers, all right, no negs. There we go. Let's filter. Um, let's check out these last two. Okay, so we have um, for each, same as map. So we can just do it right here. We can do copy that, comment it out. Name dot for each. Only difference here is I think if we do value value dot index plus index it'll log out the value and the index so it just gives you a little bit more information and you can also get the array I think let's see this is right um, if we console log change names let me see if this works undefined
be it is. Console.log value is plus value plus array and index value is plus value. So now if we do that, um, we should get what we want. Value is zero and index of value is zero. Oh, right, index at value is the index. Respect it. Zero, one, two, three. Undefined. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And let's look at our very last one, which is reduce. So, let's comment this out. Reduce is good for um, flattening arrays. We'll just use it to sum up some numbers. So we have our numbers array. Just count that out. Shouldn't matter, but okay. So we have our summed numbers equals numbers that reduce is a function. And we'll take in um, this, which would be the um, sum. And then the index that we're on. So this would be sum and the index. And we'll just return sum plus index. But usually this is like A or B, but I'm just trying to explain it. So if we log out summed numbers, and let's see what we should get. I think 120, right? And just to prove that that's true, um, we can sort of loop through it. Numbers dot length, I plus plus. And then sum plus equal to numbers I. Also, I should return true. Just two different ways. True. There we go. Cool, guys. All right. Um, last thing I'll show you is you can actually chain on all of these methods, which I think is super cool. If you look at uh, the idea of observables in JavaScript, which I'm not gonna talk about that, but that's basically functional programming on steroids. So we have this numbers array. Let's just get rid of all of this. Let's go back and get it. Have our numbers array, right? So we wanna do var, you know, functional, Transformation, I don't know, something crazy. I'm not very good at names, but uh, we can do numbers dot map function index um, turn numbers dot numbers times two uh, or return, sorry, return index times two. And then after that, we can filter function index. Index greater than 20. And then um, after that, we can perform a for each on it. Return value index return value you know, minus 10. And then after that, we can perform reduce function. Um, and it will be a sum and an index, turn sum plus index. So now after we've done all that, we can log out functional transformation. 
and let's just do this for the real quick. Once I load index, um, index. index. So now, let's see if that works. Cannot read property reduce undefined. One, two, reduce undefined. Dot reduce is a function sum an index. It does not like doesn't like being used with the other. Huh. Maybe I can't do that then. Um I guess we could do that then. really strange. Um, I'll look into that, but basically this is the idea. You can chain on all of these and um, yeah, that's functional programming for you. You know, so basically you could even have it look like super long, you know. Crazy long, like Concatenated functions on here, and this is this is like minified at this point. But uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll look into the reduce why you can't do that. Maybe it has something to do with one of these other um, built-in methods of trying to call on it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Um, like to hear feedback and thanks have a good day